Hey everybody, welcome back to Gradual Financial Freedom. My name is James and this is going to be a multi-series episode giving you a weekly update on my path, on the path that I'm currently on. First, I want to go back to the start of this path. This path uh, started on 9-16 when I used a friend's Robinhood link to open my account. I did this because he was the first one to show me that, uh, show me it, and even though I saw other YouTubers with this code on their channels, I decided to use his to give him the free stock since he originally showed it to me. Also, if you want to help me out, I have my Robinhood code below. If you click that, you'll get a free stock, I'll get a free stock. But if someone else showed you this uh, thing beforehand, and I recommend that you give them that little bit of benefit. And I just want to make sure I mention this before we get started. I am not a financial advisor. Any information given out here is of my own, uh, are things that I have done and that have worked for me so far. That being said, you should not take all of your advice from someone on YouTube. <laughs> At least you can see what I've done. Uh, there are some things I also wanted to state in this. I am using my own money. Everything that I have has been put aside for my personal spending. All the funds going to this venture or not earmarked for bills or anything else. It was all my money I decided to use, so it's not going to hurt as much if I lose it. Because, well, stock investing is a risky thing, and you do risk losing your money if you do this. You never know what's going to happen. Now, the first stock I got was on September 16th. As I opened my account, it was TRX or Tronix, and as you can see, this was $9.71. Not bad. Now, out of the three stocks you get to pick, I picked the one to the right um, back because I was like, you know what, that front center one, that to me is a little sketchy. They kind of want you to pick that one. I'll pick the one to the right, and sure enough, I got that one. So who knows what the other two were. Then on the 18th, I started my first buying set. I put money in and I made my first rookie mistake right then and there, right off the bat. That morning, I wanted to buy a share of AT&T stock and I had to see how the limit orders were on there. So I decided to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to put a limit order in. And I put a thing in for a limit order for AT&T, set at the closing of the, of the, set at the price of the closing from the day before. Next thing you know, I wake up, I happen to look at it, and I see that I bought it at 45 cents higher than I originally wanted. And it was already taking a dive. So I panicked, tried to keep from losing as much money as possible, so I sold it at a 28 cent loss. And that was my first mistake. It was called it's panicking. It is where it's something that every person that has it in there, you have to think about this. You're in dividends, you're doing it for the long haul, not for the short gain. That being said, I panicked, did not want to lose money. I had already bought it 45 cents higher than I originally wanted to buy. It was going back down. I was like, you know what, sell it. And took a 28 cent loss. I also, because of that, put on a thing that Robinhood has where you get the little marks for day trading. And I, was, I basically didn't want to buy any more stocks of AT&T for a while because I didn't want to risk being put down as a day trader because that's not what Robinhood's all about and from what someone had told me that if I did that it could possibly freeze my account and I didn't want that to happen. Now if that's true I don't know. But at the end of the day I had bought an extra, uh, one share of Trimera, one of New York Management, one of GE, one of Ford, one of Coca-Cola, one of Wendy's, and one of Good. And then after after hours, I also set up to buy two of LXRX, the pharmaceutical company. As you can see, I was already in the red due, my, due to my first mistakes in investing. By the end of day two, as you can see, I'm still in the red, and LXRX is not doing as good as I thought it would. Uh, that being a pharmaceutical company, I saw that they had a new drug come out, and I was like, you know what, new drugs mean that usually the price goes up. And so I bought it, not doing my full research. And this is mistake number two. I did not do my full research on the stock. It was in the red. So yeah, now I got a, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to remake that 18 mistake. I'm going to keep it for a little bit and then I'll sell it. Day three now ends our week. And as you can see, it ends in the green for the day. 
By this time, I had put $350 of my own money into the Robinhood account. My Tronic stock had lost 60 cents, and I had made two cents selling Zynga. I also got rid of my LXRX, as you can see, and bought a stock from UMH, AFB, Cold, and Main. Now, LXRX, here's what I want to get in on in this. I had bought it, but then I didn't, like I said, didn't do my research, and I did not see that the fact that two of their drugs, two other drugs that they have, were under investigation by the FDA, which is going to cause the stock to drop. And if I would have saw that, I would have said, hey, you know what, let's hold off. But I didn't. But this ends the first week of my stock adventure. Now, like I said, I'm going to be doing a weekly update, so... This will be the first in a series just to get us up to date and then I will uh, hopefully be doing regular reports uh, during the week and then not only that, maybe even put in some other things. But thank you for hanging out. If you liked what you saw so far, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button and you know what, just share on this adventure with me. Just so you know, anything that goes through it, whether you use that Robinhood code down there and I get any stocks out of it, or any monetary issue that comes out of this, will be going straight back into Robinhood to be used. So the stocks that I get, well, they're already there. The monetary from this, if there is ever any monetary, will also be used to that. Thank you, and I'll see you another time.